Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to free up Outlook space. In today's video, we're covering a specific issue where Outlook on your Mac is taking up a huge amount of storage. We're gonna show you guys, we're gonna show you guys how to fix that. This was actually suggested to us from one of our viewers. So if you have video suggestions like that, comment those down below. Now, before we get started, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows Server, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, guys, so I'm here on my Mac laptop. Let's go ahead and start with opening Outlook. And uh, this is the new version of Outlook for Mac. So I'm on Office Home and Business 2021. This tutorial will be almost exactly the same, regardless of which version of Outlook you're on or if you're on the legacy mode. Now, I don't currently have this problem, but let's start by figuring out how much space my Outlook is taking up. I'll hit my Apple menu in the top left and let's go to System Settings. Once we're here, we're gonna click into the General tab and we're gonna go to Storage. Once inside of storage, I'm gonna to go to applications and I'm gonna click this little eye right next to it. And this is gonna break up my storage consumption by application starting from large to small. As we can see, Outlook is right here at 2.73 gigabytes, not a huge file, but maybe after we do some of these steps in the video, we can actually get that down. Okay, let's go back into Outlook. So the first and probably most impactful thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna clear our cache. To do that, go to Tools, or we can go to Outlook and Settings, either one, but I'll go to Tools and I'm gonna to go to Accounts. Again, this is accessible from the Settings menu as well. Now, as we can see on my two Gmail accounts, I'm not seeing any other options other than this little security option. But if we have an Outlook account, that's going to be creating cache files locally on our computer. So with the Outlook account, I can actually clear my cache. So I can hit free up space here. And this is gonna to help to remove a lot of space. In many cases, this is gonna be the largest driving factor behind why your email is taking up so much space. So we'll hit continue. And we've completed that step, so let's move on to the next. All right guys, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna filter for large attachments. So in order to do that, I'm gonna click this little filter icon here. I'm gonna turn the attachment on, and I'm gonna add more options, and we're gonna click size. Here where it says greater than, for example, let me just do 10 meg megabytes and let's say I wanna clear out as much of those as I can. I'll press search. And here we can see the attachment that I just sent to myself as a test. So I could basically take this attachment, delete this email, and then inside of deleted items, I would want to go and fully delete the email, which is going to clear that space from Outlook. So I'll right click on here and I'll hit delete. Another thing we could do is archive our emails locally. Now I would need to be in the legacy outlook for that. So let's go ahead and go back to help and revert to legacy. Once in the legacy version here, I can click down to file and export. We could select all of the things we want to export and hit continue and save this on either a USB drive or somewhere else that's not actually inside of your outlook application. Upon doing that, you could then clear your inbox without losing valuable data. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about optimizing your outlook storage on your Mac, Drop those in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. As we grow the channel, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas that would be helpful for you guys. So if there's a specific video you want to see, we encourage you to put that in the comments below as almost all of our viewer requests get made into actual videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.